Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Technetium India. Today we are going to do a full review of the OnePlus 10R. Let's begin with it. Just a little brush up on the specs. This phone comes with the MediaTek Dimensity 8100 Max which is a 5 nanometer base processor. The model which we have today is a 8 GB variant with 128 GB of storage and it has 5000 mAh battery and 80 watt of fast charging. Let's begin the benchmarking scores. The first test we are going to do is the Antutu benchmark where we got a score of 6,69,000. Usually this chipset performs in Antutu about 8 lakh but for some reason we triple checked the scores and we got around the similar score which is of 6,70,000. Maybe there was some issue in our device. Next up we tried the Geekbench 5 benchmarking scores but for some reason the app was crashing on us so we could not do the test. After Geekbench 5 we ran CPU throttling test where we got a maximum output of 3,31,000 GIPS and the CPU throttled up to 87% giving us the lowest output of 2,87,000. Moving forward let's see some camera samples. Here you can see that the camera in good lighting conditions performs really well in normal mode as well as portrait mode. Whereas when there are poor lighting conditions, this phone struggles a lot, which is not expected from a brand like OnePlus. The cameras could have been better at this price point, according to me. Moving forward, let's put to the test this beast of a chip, which is the Diamond City 8100 Max playing Call of Duty and testing the performance at the highest setting available. As you saw, there were no minor or major jitters or lags in the gameplay and the gameplay was quite smooth and I really enjoyed playing on this device. So I recommend that uh, this device is good for gaming. Even though this device comes with a massive 5000mAh battery, the battery life of this device ranged between 4.5 to 5 hours of screen on time, which is quite low for my liking. Yes, there is a support for 80 watt of Superbook charging, but it lacks the uh, really loved uh, alert slider which is a major con of this device another major con is that it is heavily inspired by color os which is not up to the mark if this phone came with the oxygen os it would have been way better than what it currently is other than these two major cons this phone is a good daily driver and can be used for light gaming and day-to-day -day life that's it for this video guys. If you like the content, please like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.